Puckett, Reading Specialist at Coates Elementary School. I'm so happy you came to be with me here today. I'd like to speak to the families of students who are still learning English. We refer to these children as newcomers when their English is very new. And I'd like to help you learn some reading routines at home to help you support your child as they learn to read in English. Now, before I tell you some strategies that you can use with your child, I'd like to introduce you to Mrs. Hando, one of our wonderful ESOL teachers here. And she's going to explain to you what ESOL teachers do to help support your child learn to read at school. Hello, my name is Stephanie Hando, and I am one of the ESOL teachers at Coates Elementary. The ESOL teachers use a variety of strategies to help our students learn to read, write, listen, and speak in English. Today I'm going to show you one strategy we use when introducing a new book to our students. Here is a simple book, I Can. Books like this use pictures to show what the key vocabulary is in the text. So we're going to start by looking at each page to see what the pictures tell us about what the story is about. So look at this first page. I would ask my student, what is he doing? Yes, he's running. What is she doing? She's jumping. She's swinging. He's hopping. And she is riding a skateboard. The girl is climbing the tree. And this boy is crawling like a baby. This girl is playing with a balloon. Now we'll go back and we'll look and we'll see if we can match the words to the pictures. I can. I can, what is he doing? Run. Now sometimes parents ask me, what if I don't know how to read English? How can I help my student? You can ask your student to sound out the sounds that these letters make, run, run. But you also can use your phone, can use an app or the internet to help you with those words. That's okay too. I have another book. This is another example of a book with simple sentences and pictures that help with the key vocabulary. The picture shows me what this page is about. The sentence is simple. I see a mountain. And this picture shows me the mountain. These words are more advanced, mountain, glacier, but the simple pattern of the text helps the student to learn what these words are really about. The pictures help us to connect what we already know in our native language with what we're learning to say and read in English. Connecting what students already know, their background knowledge from their native language to what they are learning in English helps them to speak, read, and understand English better. Included in our information in the newcomer packet is a list of websites for websites that can help your English learner to learn the English alphabet and some basic sight words. Sites like ABC ya and Starfall.com allow your students to practice their alphabet 
both learning the letters and the sounds that the letters make. Learning what English sounds like is important for them as they learn to speak, read, write, and listen and understand in English. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Hando. That was just so informative about all the different things that ESOL teachers do to support children in school. Now, one thing that she mentioned is that they read simple books and they read them over and over again. That's one thing I would like for you as parents to try to do. When your child brings a book home from school, then have them read it and then read it again and read it again. That's one thing that's going to speed up their fluency and it's an easy way for you to support them. If you don't have books, there are websites like Tumble Books and MyOn where the child can read the book online. So those are some good strategies. As your child learns to read English, they're gonna to need to go to the next step and that's understanding how to talk about books. So I'd like to introduce you to Mrs. Madsen, another fabulous ESOL teacher at Coates, and she's going to talk to you about the kinds of questions you can ask your child to help them get more out of their reading. Mrs. Madsen? Hello, everybody. My name is Michaela Madsen, and I am the fourth grade ESOL teacher at Coates Elementary. Today, I wanted to talk a little bit about what kinds of questions you could ask your child when they are starting to read more difficult books. We talked about at the beginning when they're brand new to the country, your child is going to be, read very, be reading very simple books with maybe three or four words on a page. But if they read every day and they practice their English, Hopefully they can work up to more complex books by the end of the school year. Um, so for a native language speaker, we try to uh, get our kindergarten students to get to a level, what we call a level D or a level six book. So what I wanna show you today is an example of a level D book. If your child is making good progress, this is, a, this is what a book would look like by the end of the year. And I wanna show you what some of the questions you might ask that are gonna be different in this kind of book than a book that you would ask when, when they're brand new and they're just learning English and they're reading the very simple book. So this one's a little more advanced. Our book today is called Do Not Eat That. And from the cover, we see that there's a little girl and a little boy. The little boy is blue. It turns out that that little boy is an alien from out of space and he is visiting his friend on earth. So we're just going to look at a couple of the pages. In this story, we're starting with Abby and Zotz. Abby and Zotz are best friends. Zotz is from outer space. Zotz is hungry. Zotz finds puppies. Do not eat puppies, Abby says. Zotz finds trash. Do not eat the trash, Abby says. So Zotz continues to find things that he wants to try to eat, but they are not edible and Abby has to keep telling him, don't eat that. When we get to the end of the story, uh, Abby finally gets Zotz some pizza and he is able to eat the pizza. So for a book like this, some of the questions that we, we always talk about for comprehension questions, you're gonna ask questions that are who, where, what? So a question that would be who is who are the characters in this story? Your child would want, you would expect that they could answer you that the characters are Abby and Zotz. Then you would ask where, where did the story take place? Well, in this case, they could answer earth because one of the characters is from outer space and one is from the earth. So the setting is earth in this story. Uh, then you would ask them what, what 
is happening in the story? Or another way of putting it is, what is the problem in the story? Well, the problem in this story is that Sats is very hungry and he wants to eat, but he doesn't know what to eat because he's not from here. He doesn't know what's edible on earth and he keeps trying to eat the wrong kinds of things. And then you can also ask, well, what was the solution to that problem? And the solution was that Abby finally gets him pizza so that he isn't hungry anymore. So just so remember, it's important to read simple books over and over again. It's important for you to read stories to your child, either in English or in your native language. And it's important for you to talk to your children about what they've read. And if you can do this at home, we guarantee you, we can help you make your child make progress and become a better reader. Thank you.